the uh, uh, stock market is reacting to what has been good news uh, in our report as well. Very strong action by uh, the Fed, central banks uh, elsewhere, and also very significant fiscal measures. They have put the floor under the world economy. Uh, and it is a great source of optimism that we will go over this crisis once there is a medical breakthrough. We also have some parts of the uh, market that are reacting to the winners of this crisis. We have seen tech companies doing particularly well, and we all know that the pandemic has accelerated a digital transformation. But let's not be um, complacent. There is a disconnect between what we see in the real economy and the uh, uh, optimism of markets. And what it requires from us is to be watchful. And actually, the Fed has demonstrated yesterday exactly that by taking the stress tests as an input of what they would like to see banks, a very important part of the financial system, uh, to do. More specifically, also what not to do, like giving um, uh, dividends and buybacks. Buybacks. They could have actually gone even further and totally scrapped dividends, which we saw in the last financial crisis. It's something that's been advocated by, by Janet Yellen and others as a way for banks to be prudent, uh, given the uncertainty in the economy. Do you think they should have done that? Uh, I think that um, it is important to be... Uh, uh, prudent, uh, but also to be agile in this crisis. Uh, what we have said in our um, assessment is that there is still a very high degree of uncertainty. And when we operate in uncertainty, agility is what should uh, direct the policy steps. You take data, you take information, and then you make adjustments, uh, uh, but also be careful not to go too far too fast. How ultimately do you think that this disconnect that you described between the markets and the economy resolves itself? Are investors in for a world of pain? The, uh, le le let's first take a, um, uh, a look at what we project. Uh, what we are saying in our uh, assessment is that we have a deeper recession than we anticipated in April, and we are for a partial and uneven recovery. And therefore, what we all have to be mindful of is that uh, we are just simply not out of the woods. There has to be a degree of caution. We are also saying that um, there is a, a, a expectation for a medical breakthrough. And so let's remember, the economy is not destroyed. It is just put in a standstill. So as growth resumes, uh, provided that uh, uh, policymakers continue to be prudent, uh, we can expect uh, uh, finally this disalignment between markets and the real economy uh, to shrink. And uh, what markets are saying is they believe this time will come. Our only note of caution uh, to everyone is we are not there yet. The uncertainty is still hanging over our heads. You did take down numbers this year, and some might expect that if the cuts are deeper this year, if the hit to growth is deeper this year, we'd see a stronger rebound next year. But you also took down the numbers for next year as well. So why are you not in the, the V-shaped recovery camp? We are not there because uh, what we now know is that recovery uh, is uh, starting on the basis of uh, reopening while the pandemic is still with us. Uh, and while it is still with us, there has to be an expectation of uh, spikes, and actually we see that happening in many places. And then there has to be an adjustment uh, in uh, economic response to these uh, uh, spikes. Uh, so we cannot project anything but uneven and partial recovery until such time when there can be a radical ending of the pandemic, um, uh, and that time is not yet. Um, it is not on the horizon just yet, Sarah. What happens if Congress cannot figure out a way to pass relief for state and local government and more extend the unemployment benefits 
and some of the other benefits that are set to run out in the middle of the summer? What would that look like? We have been very clear on, the, on this issue that uh, if we want to go through this pandemic uh, uh, action by uh, central banks, but also by uh, fiscal authorities is absolutely paramount. Uh, while, be, why? Because when the economy is in a standstill, to retain a chance not to have massive bankruptcies, not to have massive unemployment means uh, a need for fiscal measures and for very active uh, monetary uh, actions. Uh, so we want to see this continuing until such time the pandemic is uh, in the rearview uh, mirror. It is uh, so critical that uh, we see that continuation of uh, uh, fiscal measures uh, to put that sense of certainty that would prevent the worst of what this crisis can produce. And it is long lasting scarring on our economies. Uh, we know that uh, structural unemployment is a risk that can be mm -hmm. avoided uh, if we are to act smart uh, for in the months ahead.